What do you fucking say? I'm scared. You think I'm scared? Get these fucking envelopes. Get these fucking envelopes. Just so this video kicks off, guys, True Rally are holding a rally through the NC500, the mighty NC500 next April, April 15th and 17th. It's the Easter holiday weekend. It's £400. You pay for a ticket, you come along, there's limited spaces, and you get everything included. All the routes are tested, the hotels are included, the nightclubs are included, all alcohols included, all activities are included, all food throughout the whole weekend is included, and that's all in the ticket price. You get photography, videography, we have models coming along. It's basically just a car enthusiast idea of a perfect holiday. So there are around two or three spaces left at the time of recording this video. So the link's there on the screen. If you want to sign up, head over to the website, give us an email, give True Rally a message on Instagram and come and join on the best holiday of your life around the best driving roads in the world with like-minded individuals like you. What'd you fucking say? I'm scared. You think I'm scared? Get these fucking envelopes. Get these fucking envelopes. All right, so we sold the Clio the other day. So we sold it for 1800 and we bought it for eight, uh, 850 So it owes me about a grand, so we sold it for a little bit of profit. So we've got a little bit of wiggle I've been looking at something else to uh, to buy. And there's this downstairs. And it's owned by Greenlight, so owned by Neil. Um, it's had a lot of work done to it, and we've just suddenly thought of a game a few hours ago of let's play deal or no deal. So we have three envelopes, three different prices, <laughs> and whatever I pull out, that's how much I've got to pay for it. So we've got 750 more of them, a thousand or 1250. Now I know everyone in there is saying all of them are a good deal, they are all a good deal, but I don't really want to be spending 1250 quid in a car, I don't really fucking want, do you know what I mean? But for 750, it's a good deal. So, do you want to shuffle them? <laughs> so it's, great. it's actually got quite a bit of stuff on this. I'm not gonna lie, it's, and it's, I'm, it's good. I'm just, it's a good car. I'm just gonna just buy it and flip it, so. But you, you don't like dealing with sales? And... Not really, no. Right. It's easy for me, it's gone, so. <laughs> <laughs> even, even when you're a winner, I don't you want can't to lose. Right, put them down. I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do my feeling thing. That one's cold. You don't want that one. <laughs> this is the one I was gonna show you. So. Oh no! Do I look? Do I look? <laughs> <laughs> right, open the open one that you've got. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Either a grand or 750. Either a grand or 750. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> 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 new car. It's a pleasure. Let's go and do business. <laughs> 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 Dave is gonna love this. The hand thing works. Seven hundred fifty quid. So the key. <laughs> Look at all the paperwork comes with it. What an absolute bargain. All this neat paperwork. Right, let's go and show you the brand new car. <laughs> My brand new car. And not gonna lie, this is the absolute bargain. Bargain of the century. Bargain of the century. Here it is. <laughs> Mark one. <laughs> They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never. <laughs> <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. <laughs> Mark 1 MX5 import. <laughs> 1.8 limited slip tip. <laughs> Here it is. 
So what are we going to do with it? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with it. It's had a rust door, it's had new hatches put on, sills welded, it's got brand new Meister R coilovers, brake. It's got so much stuff done to it. The plan was to turn it into something like really mint. So all the... Like they've even got like OEM radio and, and everything. <laughs> like it's an expensive car, guys. The only bad thing about it is that it's had all the stuff done. It's just been flattered and rattle can black so we could go and get painted and just get flattered and painted again, but they just not got around to painting. So it's rattle can black at the minute. Um, not the worst job in the world, but li literally guys, <laughs> it's fucking clean. What a bargain. What a bargain. We're going to take it for a quick spin because I do have the key. Let's make sure it starts. Right, let's get in. First, first try. Hey, it's clean here. Yeah? This is nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really see me. Hang on, let's put this on. Oh, that light does absolutely nothing. Right, here we go. Nice cold wheel. Look, it's lush in here. Oh. <laughs> It's dead. Yes. <laughs> no! That's your problem. <laughs> mate, is this a lemon? Are you sold me a f***ing lemon, mate? Right, we've got a jumper on it. Come on, you beast. Oh! Right, I've got it on the best ground I could get. It might have to be a tomorrow job. Nah, it's a tomorrow job, that. I can't get it on a decent ground. What a stupid place to put a battery. Right, we're going to bump it. Let's go. Ah. It's quite heavy for a small car, isn't it? Jesus. It's got a tough thing on it. Send it. Send it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's off. What a buy. See what you want to see, guys. I'm not seeing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 1.8, all the sense. The oil, new gearbox oil. No rust. Look at the, look at the lack of rust. Wow. So I've come back on the proper camera. I did film it on the iPhone because we were just doing it last minute but here is the MX-5 it is a 1.8 it is an import and it, it, it has got the LSD as you can see like it is it is actually really clean I'm not gonna lie it's had so much money spent on it as you can see now with a proper camera in daylight you know the paint job isn't the best so it had had everything sorted out underneath and it's had rear arches well done because it started to like bubble down here well it started to go down there so it's had new rear arches welded in uh, and it was just all like different colors and it was primed and stuff so just rattle canned it black to, to keep for the time being until let's you know, get it painted but, but here it is 750 smackers it is super nice inside it is actually a really, really, really nice car. Um, if you do recognize this car, we actually used this car on the Greenlight Challenge and that's why it's still owned by Greenlight. It was green, we painted it in the car park. If you remember this, guys, <laughs> we painted it in the car park. It was green, uh, it had different body kits on. Neil took it and they was gonna put it back to a perfect car. They wanted to basically keep it and redo it really nice and get it as like a classic, but unfortunately, they, they did all the mechanical works, had new diff oil, new gearbox oil, new calipers, brand new coilovers, service, like the receipts is so much of it um, and it got to this stage and it's kind of just been left and obviously like more projects have come and this needs to go so I swoop in get a banging deal <laughs> and this actually won the green light challenge we drove this to Land's End and back two of us sat in this car for about two or three days driving all the way to Land's End <laughs> and I have acquired it again so I actually know a lot about this car I spent days and days and days traveling the fucking country in this car. So I've come here now with the proper camera just to get some pictures. I'm gonna put it down there and get some actual pictures um, and proper sale pictures. It's clean and it's not dirty or anything. Um, so, and then I'm tempted to just to flip it straight away and get some money back. <laughs> There's not much else I could do with it other than paint it. 
we could potentially do that. We could see if I can get a one of my contacts to do a spray painting job and paint it the original blue that the car came in. I think that would be pretty cool to do and then sell it. But I don't know if it's worth the effort. Um, you, let me, you guys let me know in the comments, what would you like to see? But there it is, there is our deal or no deal car. Could have got it for a more than I wanted to spend it, but I got it for an incredible fucking deal. So moral of the story here, guys, is take risks and they might just pay off. Sometimes they don't, but they might just pay off.